my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. Name's Nancy. Thank you so much for watching. Today I have another makeup tutorial for you all and I really hope you guys like it so so much because I really really am digging this look. Um, but today I am using the Saharan, is it Saharan? Saharan 2 palette by Juvia's Place and this is my first palette from Juvia's Place. Um, I wanted to film this video because um, Juvia's Place is finally at Ulta, you guys. So it is very affordable and I've heard so much hype about this palette or not just this palette specifically, but I've heard so much hype about Juvia's... Ah, domino effect. I've heard so much hype about Juvia's Place and how pigmented it is. The very first person to ever brought up this brand was Nikki Tutorials and she said that it was like the most pigmented palette in the world and she is definitely not wrong. Um, I feel like the palette is really really pigmented and um, it is what I have on my eyes currently so you guys can be the judge of that. Um, and here is the inside of this palette. So this palette costs only $20. Um, they have a couple of selection and I was just not sure which one to buy at all so I went back debating which one I wanted to get um so I finally decided to pick up this one because I feel like these colors are like not too bright there are some neutral colors that I can go ahead and use there are some shimmer shades that I can work with and we have two pops of color on the outer side here which is really really pretty these are the colors that I definitely can see myself wearing so I decided to pick this one up and like I said this is $20 and the other palettes I believe was only $25 was the most as you can see the size of the pan it's already pretty big so I'm just like really amazed at this whole packaging you know I mean it doesn't have a mirror or anything, but you know, for $20, I think this is totally, totally worth it. Um, so yeah, I want to get my hands on more palettes um, as well. So yeah, you guys, definitely, definitely check that out. Um, and yeah, but this is the look I created with the palette, um, and I love it so, so much. Um, I've just been really loving these pops of colors on my eyes, as you guys can see on here. Um, so yeah, before you guys start watching the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thumbs up this video so I can continue to do more videos for you all. And I, I mean, even if you guys don't, I'm still going to do more videos for you all. But yes, that would be really, really appreciated if you guys could do that for me. Um, but other than that, let's just jump right into this makeup look if you guys are interested in this look. Alright you guys, welcome back to another makeup session with me. I've already done this eye as you can see right here and now I'm about to do this eye and I will be using the Sahara 2 palette by Juvia's Place. Oh yes, this is one beautiful palette. You can see the pan size is so big. Let's like, oh my gosh, am I ever going to finish using this palette? I think not. Um, Let's just go ahead and jump into the eye look. So the first shade that I am going in is Taza. It's a nice orange shade and this is going right in the crease area. Next up I am going in with this burgundy shade which is super super pretty. Um, and this is in the shade Sohra. Just hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. But yes, this is going right on the outer corners. And on the inner corner as well. Just look at that shade. Alright, I'm going to cut my crease. And I am going to use my Soft Ogre Pink Pot from MAC and I am putting this right in the usual area that I usually do. And then we are going in with this beautiful aquamarine shade, that's the color that I can think of when I look at it. Um, and this shade is in, oh my gosh, I do not want to butcher this but it is Chef Shaowen, oh my gosh. 
I'm popping this right where I cut the crease. It's so pigmented, I don't even need to like wet it or anything. Yes, so pretty. How pretty is that? All right, and then I'm going to add some of this darker, rich chocolate brown shade called Fez. I'm adding this right here. Going back into Zohra and I am just going to fix that outer corner a little bit. I just want to still see the pink shade on the outer corners. So this is why I am just going to fix it a little bit. We are of course going to stray away from the eyes for now and let's focus on the face. We are going in with this new primer that I just got. Um, this one is from Tarte, and this is the Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. Just going to take some of that. Just going to apply that. Hmm, it smells okay. Next up, we are going in with our foundation, and I'm still currently loving this Superstay foundation from Maybelline. I'm going to powder my face with my Becca. You guys already know the drill. I am running so low on this. I don't know if you guys can even tell, but there's like barely any in here. The beauty of mine right here is about to go on my face. I'm going in with my trusty Luminoso blush and you guys I'm like running real low on this one I think I might just I am going to be done with this blush soon this is the blush that, this is going to be the first blush that I finish it's just that good just love this peachy glowy shade it just I just love how it gives me that glow as well. I'm going to work on these brows off camera and then I shall be back. I finished my brows and I've also added some lashes. My lashes today are the iconic lights from House of Lashes. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to finish the eyes and highlighter and lips and then I will be done with this look. So yes, let's just go ahead and finish with the eyes. We are going to just put the same colors that we had on the top of the eyes onto the lower eyes because we just want to match it. And for the lower lash line, we are going in with Marc Jacobs Highliner and the shade Pink of Me because I love this one. Then for highlighter, we are going in with this little baby highlighter from Ofra. And this is in the shade Pillow Talk. Looks like this. Looks like a nice pink shade. Go ahead and spritz some cover effects. I'm 
we are going to finish off with this color. This one is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is in the shade Poet. All right, you guys, and this concludes the look. And this is what I created with the palette. Love the way the eyes turned out, and I love the way everything just meshed so so well together. And this lip, this lip is so beautiful as well. So, yeah, you guys, um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys love 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 this video, please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you all leave. Um, and don't forget to follow my social media. I have everything linked in the description box as well so please check that out and that is all that i have um but yeah i will see you all in my next video bye